It was Henry Kissinger, the former US Secretary of State, who once famously asked, who do I call if I want to call Europe? Well, in early December, that question was partly answered when, after years of wrangling, the Lisbon Treaty finally took effect. It imposed a more streamlined EU leadership. The bloc got its first president, former Belgian Premier Herman van Rompuy, and a new foreign policy supremo, British peer Catherine Ashton. But the treaty retained the EU's six-month rotating presidency, which Spain took over on Friday. The coming months will be seen as a key test of how the president and the holder of the bloc's presidency work together. When it comes to European summits and foreign ministers' meetings, the EU president and his foreign policy chief will be in the chair. But many fear Van Rompuy has already ceded some of his influence, allowing Spanish Prime Minister José Luis Zapatero to line up other high-profile summits, including an EU-US meeting with Barack Obama. Spain, though, has sought to reassure sceptics that the relationship will be complementary rather than competitive. Also jostling for position is José Manuel Barroso, who recently won a second five-year term heading the European Commission, the EU's executive arm. Some diplomats predict he'll be seeking to build on his strong international profile and bolster his influence. All of which begs the question, one which Henry Kissinger himself might have asked, who's really in charge?